So the question is, is 3D printing waterproof? Um, short answer is yes. So 3D printing, can it be waterproof? The, the common uh, wisdom is that since 3D printing is built up in layers, it can't be made waterproof because those layers uh, allow water to pass through and therefore 3D printed parts are porous. This is incorrect. Uh, it's a misconception that is easy to get a hold of, but really isn't true in the context of how 3D printing works because it's kind of a remnant of old FDM 3D printing that wasn't very reliable or very consistent. Uh, which could potentially leak, but anymore, it's really not an issue, but there are some caveats to that. So number one, can you make a floating part? Absolutely. Here's a floating part. All of these are perfectly waterproof uh, products that are thrown out to customers um, that were made with FDM 3D printing. And it doesn't, it's really not that odd that this is the case, that 3D printing can be waterproof, because if you put down a layer of plastic and then you put down another consistent layer of plastic on it, and then a layer on top of that, and then they sandwich together. That's not unlike using glue in a gasket um, or any sort of gasket lube that can be used to seal up a machined part because you're just putting down a layer of plastic and then compressing it. A, a 3D printer is able to put down a hot layer, and if it is consistent, it merges consistently with the layer below it. And there's a few other tricks that you can do in order to get a good seal. You can also, as you're going along there, not just do a single layer right there that has to seal itself, but do multiple layers so that you get thickness on the part that allows more redundancy should one of those individual beads be compromised in some kind of a way. And then again, a lot more can go into this. We've worked really hard on waterproof 3D printing up into high pressure applications that we continue to work on right now and push the technology further. For high pressure, it is difficult. It is absolutely difficult, but it is not impossible. The reason it's difficult is because the larger the part becomes, the more opportunity there is for a defect in the part that could cause a leak. So if you're doing waterproof or high pressure applications, generally you wanna keep it down somewhere around that, never really bigger than a fist. If you go larger than that, it's exceptionally hard because you have tens of thousands, if not millions of tool moves where if a few of them kind of go wrong in just the right way, you can have a leak. And very often the leak is exceptionally small and cannot be seen until it reaches very high pressure. But down at lower pressure applications, very easy. Um, floating objects, very easy. So yes, 3D printed parts can absolutely be waterproof. You just kind of have to know what you're doing. But there's no reason that they physically can't be able to. It's just kind of a history that's continued on into the present, even though it really doesn't apply anymore. So yes, you can make waterproof 3D printed parts.